Did you know that they are at this very moment trying an alleged serial life ender in Dallas? One of the most prolific ever in history. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. If you answered no to my opening question, then I wonder, and you should wonder, why? I'll bet you haven't heard one word about this trial going on in Dallas regarding an illegal from Kenya posing as a maintenance man or medical personnel at assisted living establishments, the new term for old folks' home, only to smother and end the lives of up to 18, probably more, female senior citizens just to take their jewelry and their belongings. Don't believe me yet, do you? Well, I do bet that you're at this moment scrambling to another tab while I say this to see if what I'm saying is true. Actually, good for you. But it has been so important to demonize a kid that was defending himself against criminals that I believe meant to end him. I mean, come on, they weren't giving him hugs and candy now, were they? But yeah, it was so important to get this person worldwide for some reason that a true serial killer is not even a blip on the radar anymore? No one finds this kind of thing intriguing anymore? I mean, anyone? Hello? 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 Anybody, there? Anybody there? I mean, with all the people who now claim to know how to end someone and get away with it because they've watched so many episodes of CSI, they can quote them by heart. Not even you folks are interested in this murder mystery? And the victim that this case is based upon happened all the way back in 2018. Not a peep until he's brought to trial? Okay, well, I will share with you what I've found so far as of the recording of this video. I actually put it off until Thursday. I usually do my recordings on Wednesday, just so that I could get a little bit more information to add to this. I will continue to follow this case, however, as it should be, because these people could have been my mother, my grandmother, your grandmother, your mother. And this is right here, real close to home, Dallas-Fort Worth area. But before I get into all of that, I'm going live, coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. I'm calling the series Talk To Me America. My call-in talk show will feature you. Call in and tell the universe how you feel about the topics that affect us the most. Let us know what your experience was when things we see happening have happened to you. We cannot be free without the freedom of speech, and I want to be a part of that freedom that we are guaranteed by our Creator. So stay tuned and get your voices ready to speak out. Spread the news and stay tuned for Here's What I Heard's Talk To Me America series, coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. In the meantime, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and a comment. You will be doing this on my call-in talk show, so start letting me know what you heard now in the comments. The best comments and the best phone calls will be featured in my videos all over the internet. The world wants to hear what you have to say, so call me and tell them like it is. A donation would be the ultimate and will help me get your voice out on as many platforms as possible. And you can follow me on those other platforms too. All of my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Okay, so here I'm going to show you what I found so far at the time of the filming of this video. Like I said, I will continue to monitor this situation. It is close to home and I'm actually intrigued by it. Very, very much so, especially uh, being the commentator that I would like to be. So we'll start with this one. This is actually the article that brought my attention to this case in the first place. 
How ironic. Media ignores trial of Kenyan immigrant accused of killing at least 18 elderly victims. From the National Conservative. I've never seen this page before, but uh, it made me at least do at least do some more research, which is actually not a bad thing. And again, if you're doing the same, good for you. I'll read you a little bit of each one of these articles. I don't want to make this into a documentary or anything. Billy Chimirmir, an immigrant from Kenya, has been in custody since 2018. Authorities say that he smothered elderly victims to death in the Dallas, Texas metro area. He would pose as a maintenance man or a medical professional to gain access to his victims' homes. Many lived in senior living facilities. After killing his victims, he would steal their jewelry. He's been indicted for killing 18 people. However, the families of at least six other victims have named him as a suspect as well. This makes him one of the most prolific serial killers in Texas history. Yesterday, Shamir Mir's first, fri uh, first trial finally began. This is for the murder of Luthie Harris, 81 years old. Harris was smothered to death in her North Dallas home. The key witnesses are two victims who survived attacks. One of these witnesses had since passed away, but her videotape testimony was played in court yesterday. The next one, uh, now that was from, like I say, National Conservative. The next one I got, the most of the stuff that I got in regard to this was all local news. This is Channel 5 in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dallas County, accused serial killer Billy Shamirmir faces new charge, bringing total capital murder charges to 18. This was published on January 6th, but again, local news, nobody paid attention. 18. 18 at that point. Billy Shmirmir, a man accused of smothering more than a dozen women living in North Texas, ret retirement homes, and robbing them of their jewelry, has been indicted on another charge of capital murder, bringing the total to 18. On December 29, 2020, a Dallas grand jury handed down a capital murder charge in the death of 87-year-old Glenda Day, who was killed October 15th on 2016 at the Tradition Prestonwood a senior living complex in Dallas. That's somebody's grandmother. That's somebody's mother. And this guy just... Mm, so far. All right. Here is another article from Metro News. This particular one claims to parrot whatever the Dallas Daily News writes. I couldn't get to them because it's behind a paywall. So let's try this. What to know about the first trial of alleged senior living serial killer Billy Shamir Mir? I'm calling him the grandma killer. This story originally published in the Dallas Morning News is reprinted as part of a collaborative partnership between the Dallas Morning News and the Texas Metro News. The partnership seeks to boost coverage of Dallas communities of color, particularly in Southern Dallas. Okay. <laughs> Jury selection begins in the trial of Billy Shamirmir, who has been indicted on 18 counts of capital murder in Dallas and Collin counties. By Charles Scudder. I have no idea who that is. Over two years, more than a dozen women died in senior living communities, and inside their homes, jewelry, cash, and other valuables went missing. Families were told they died of natural causes. That's feasible, I guess you could say. You know, with no showing of anything uh if they if it was if they were smothered by pillows and everything like that only an autopsy would reveal that or reveal any broken bones or anything that happened in that case these people are old and it sounds almost like they're forgotten about years later a man was arrested for trying to smother a 93 year old woman with a pillow police say the women were murdered by one of texas's most prolific serial killers billy shamirmir more than three and a half years after he was arrested, a 48-year-old Shamir Mir will face a trial for capital murder on Monday in Dallas. Two dozen, oh, a dozen jurors and two alternates were chosen after nine hours of jury selection on Wednesday. The outcome of that trial will determine if Shamir Mir spends the rest of his life in prison without parole. The kicker, 
Indicted on 18 counts of capital murder in Dallas and Collin counties, Shamir Mir has been linked in police records, medical examiner reports, and civil lawsuits to two dozen deaths between 2016 and 2018. The next one, this is the, Met, like I say, that's the Metro News, which actually parrots the Dallas Morning News. Here is another local station there, Fox in Fort Worth. Billy Shamir Mir trial. Jury watches surveillance video of victim and suspect. A Dallas County jury was shown a surveillance video of an accused serial killer on the day prosecutors said he committed a murder. Billy Shamir Mir is accused of killing 18 elderly people, but all but one of the victims were women. He is on he is only on trial right now for the murder of 81-year-old Lou Harris. Lou Thee. In court Wednesday's jurors were shown surveillance video of Harris leaving a Walmart star on March 20th, 2018. The video also shows Shamir Mir leaving the store around the same time. <clears throat> Prosecutors said he spotted Harris out shopping and followed her to her far north Dallas home before smothering her with a pillow and stole her jewelry box. Here's another one. This is another local station, 1121 CBS Dallas Fort Worth area alleged serial killed Billy I think he mean killer there does anybody not edit this stuff anymore do they not proofread this stuff anymore alleged serial killer Billy Shamir Mir shows no emotion as photo of victim Luthi Harris body is shown in the courtroom well okay <laughs> Dallas, day two of the trial for alleged serial killer Billy Shamir Mir got off to a late start in Dallas today, November 16th. A Dallas police officer took the stand and described the day a welfare check in Plano turned into a death investigation of Luthi Harris, 81. After breaking down her door, the officer found Harris dead on the floor. Pictures from inside her home, including an image of Harris's body, were shared in the courtroom today. A medical, exam a medical examiner took the stand to testify on her autopsy. Showing pictures of Harris's face and neck, he talked about seeing evidence consistent with its asphyxiation and his finding that Harris's death was a homicide. Like I said before, it takes an autopsy for this kind of a smothering. This guy was an evil genius, if you will. Shamir Mir didn't show any emotion or, or give any kind of reaction when the photo of the victim was shown, according to CBS 11 reporter Andrea Lucia, who's covering the trial. I guess not. If he's after 18 people, it's like that song, Murder by Numbers. Once you get one under your belt, it gets easier and easier to do, especially if you keep getting away with it. The next one, this is the one that I found today, a couple of minutes before filming this video. Man on trial in Texas woman's death said he didn't kill her. This is coming from the clickorlando.com. So now this is starting to actually get out there. According to this, it's an Associated Press thing. So it's about time. And again, the excerpts come from the Dallas Morning News. Brian Tabor, lead detective on the case, watches his interrogation video of defendant Billy Chimirmir during the capital murder trial at the Frank Crowley Courts Building in Dallas, Wednesday, November 17th. That's yesterday. Chimirmir, 48, faces life in prison without parole if convicted of capital murder for smothering Luthi Harris, 81, and stealing her jewelry. He is accused of killing at least 18 women in Dallas and Collin, Collin counties. Dallas. A man charged with killing 18 Dallas area women told the police detective in a taped interview played at his murder trial Wednesday that less than an hour before his arrest, a man whose name he didn't know had sold him the jewelry. A relative earlier testified that the jewelry belonged to a woman Billy Shamir Mir is accused of slaying. It just doesn't make any sense what you're telling me, Dallas Detective Brian Tabor tells Shamir Mir during the interview. Shamir Mir is accused of capital murder in the death of 81-year-old Luthi Harris. He faces life in prison without parole if convicted. Prosecutors decided not to seek the death penalty. Why not? 
Why do we have to take care of this guy? He didn't belong here to begin with. He came and killed our innocent citizens, and now we have to give him three hots and a cots until he's dead? How, where's the justice here? This is what happens when they make money off of the prison system. It's not meant to, it's not meant to um, punish anybody or rehabilitate anybody. It's there to make money for our government hacks. And of course, this this guy's gonna lie. I never murdered anybody, Chimir Mir told the detective. Chimir Mir told Tabor he made money by buying and selling jewelry and had also worked as an in-home caregiver and a security guard. Shamir Mir said he typically bought jewelry online, but he purchased the jewelry he had when he was arrested in person from a man who told him he had a batch of jewelry for Shamir Mir to look at. Didn't, couldn't tell you what this guy's name was, and they didn't ask him how this guy contacted him to begin with. What, did he just run up on him and open his coat? In finding out about this and doing my own research, I've come to several conclusions. Actually, there are things that I've known. They just this just reinforces it even more. First, this is proof that the ever-present fact that you do not need a gun to end lives. I don't think this guy even used a weapon of any kind. What a pillow, maybe? Are they going to ban those now too? I think not. Second, the elderly have seemed to become second-class citizens. No one really cares when they get exterminated. They only just enabled the future generations to even exist and invented the things that we all depend upon the most at this point. I hope you weren't counting on any inheritances, but uh, don't get me distracted. And third, this is yet just another example of how our free press covers or doesn't cover things. I mean, come on, an alleged serial killer with no press coverage? I can't believe that no one would want to follow this. Well, I'm going to. And fourth, this is just one more reason why no matter what they say and how much they try to convince me to only listen to them and do not do my own research, I'm never gonna comply nor trust these infotainers. So, do you have anything to add? Did this news give you any more proof or disproof of your own ideas? Let me know in the comments. Hello? 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 I do hope you enjoyed my video this week. Don't forget! I'm going live coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. I'm calling the series Talk To Me America. My call-in talk show will feature you. Call in and tell the universe how you feel about the topics that affect us the most. Let us know what your experience was when things we see happening have happened to you. We cannot be free without the freedom of speech, and I want to be a part of that freedom that we are guaranteed by our Creator. So stay tuned and get your voices ready to speak out. Spread the news and stay tuned for Here's What I Heard's Talk To Me America series coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. In the meantime, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and a comment. You will be doing this on my call-in talk show, so start letting me know what you heard now in the comments. The best comments and the best phone calls will be featured in my videos all over the internet. The world wants to hear what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. A donation would be the ultimate and will help me get your voice out on as many platforms as possible. And you can follow me on those other platforms too. All of my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.